So we're gonna look today at harvesting shiitake mushrooms. And I have two different ways that shiitake mushrooms are cultivated. One is in the sawdust blocks right here, and the other is in uh, logs. And there's a lot of talk about which mushroom is a higher quality, the ones grown on sawdust blocks or the ones grown on logs. And what I've found is it's not actually about the substrate, it's about the environment that they're grown in. So these mushrooms uh, on the, the blocks here were grown on, uh, were grown outside. So you can see they're a really thick mushroom and really meaty uh, and pretty large. Um, and these ones, you know, also grown outside on logs. They're a little bit cracked here. Um, and they've just been exposed to the fluctuations in humidity and temperature um, just in the environment. And I think that that's what really makes a high quality mushroom is those uh, changes in temperature and humidity uh, which creates the kind of donko, the, that cracking on the cap that is so preferred. Um, shiitakes evolved growing in Japan and China uh, you know, in forests like this. We're in a um, hemlock canopy. Uh, there's a stream just about uh, 20 yards behind me. So it's pretty moist here and, sh and well shaded. It's an awesome place for growing shiitake mushrooms. Um, and the, to harvest these mushrooms, uh, it's pretty much the same regardless of what substrate you're, you're growing on. Um, once they are showing their gills underneath here, um, they're ready to harvest. So you can just go ahead and pick one and just twist it right off. Easy as can be. Um, there's a little bit left here and you can trim that or if you really want to be uh, precise, you can cut it with scissors. Um, but I find just tearing it off and with logs, it, they come off really easily. Just kind of pull down and off pops the shiitake mushroom. So this one's got a little spider web on it. I'll just brush that off and then pop, just comes right off. So um, yeah, e easy to harvest shiitakes, whether it's on logs or blocks. Um, and then I never wash my mushrooms, you know, it's just wipe off any dirt and then these are ready to bring home and cook up with some asparagus or whatever else is coming up in the spring. So hope you enjoy your shiitake mushrooms and if you want any spawn or grow kits, check out our website fungially.com.